Planting a flowering vine for summer can be a great way to attract pollinators, boost curb appeal with a cascade of flowers, or cast some shade over an outdoor seating area. Here are seven summer flowering varieties to keep an eye out for. Each one packs a punch with continuous flowers all season. For most climates, spring through early summer is the perfect time to plant. Plant any of these on a sturdy framework, or get creative and let them scramble over rocks, down slopes, or cascade over a wall. Number 1. Mandevilla With showy flowers in a range of colors, from crisp white to sunset shades of bright red, pink, and orange, Mandevilla vines add a nice splash of color to summer gardens. They thrive in warm, humid climates. Use Mandevilla to cover a trellis, wall, fence, or posts. The plant also does well in a large pot, so it's ideal for patios and decks. Choose a warm spot in the garden with rich, well-draining soil and bright indirect or filtered sunlight throughout the day. Mandevilla likes heat, so planting it against a south or west-facing wall is ideal if you live in a cool summer climate. Number 2. Bleeding Heart Vine Bleeding Heart Vine forms clusters of creamy white bell-shaped calyxes, each with a bright red star-shaped flower peeking through the bottom. The vines produce more flowers if given a water-soluble fertilizer throughout the growing season. Bleeding Heart Vine thrives in partial shade. Try growing one in a tree-dappled side yard or under a shade pergola. In cold climate regions, Move a potted plant indoors in winter or grow this vine as an annual. Number 3. Boganvia. Often seen with more flowers than leaves, Boganvia makes a big impact as a feature of Mediterranean-style gardens and patios. The plants thrive in tough conditions, such as areas with poor soil or in the baking heat of a full-sun courtyard. If you're planting a Boganvia close to a walkway or in a garden with kids, choose a thornless variety. Bougainvilleas are frost tender. Bring potted plants to a sheltered location or provide frost protection in winter. Number 4. Orange Clock Vine These showy vines are easy to grow and can cover a trellis in a single season with cheerful, long-blooming orange flowers. In mild climate regions, orange clock vines often bloom sporadically year-round. Elsewhere they grow as an annual and bloom until frost. Plant this spectacular vine in full sun or partial sun in hot climates, and stand back to watch it cover a trellis, pillar, or fence. It can get by without much water once established, though it thrives in moist, fertile soil. Number 5. Tall Morning Glory Tall Morning Glory, also called Common Morning Glory, offers a steady supply of velvety trumpet-shaped flowers from June to October without needing much care in return. The flowers, which open in the morning and close by mid-afternoon, attract hummingbirds, butterflies, and other pollinators. The vines are grown as annuals in most regions, Number 6. Scarlet Runner Bean Scarlet runner beans are easy to grow and offer a double whammy, bright decorative flowers followed by a productive crop of beans. These vines add color to a trellis in an edible garden or can grow to quickly create a screen for a sunny spot on the patio. To prolong flowering, make sure to harvest the beans regularly. Picked young, the pods can be eaten as green beans. Left a bit longer on the vine, they can be used as shelling beans. The scarlet flowers are attractive to bees, butterflies, and hummingbirds. Number 7. Honeysuckle Favored by hummingbirds, honeysuckle offers sprays of sweetly scented, nectar-rich blooms on a pretty twining vine. Plant it to cascade over a fence and fill a courtyard with the heady, sweet fragrance. Japanese honeysuckle and other introduced varieties can be considered invasive in some areas. Check with your local nursery before planting. 
Well that's all for today's video guys. If you like this video, don't forget to click the like and subscribe button for supports our channel. Also, you can turn on the notification bell for latest videos from us. Well, see you in the next interesting topics.